Hello, welcome to Jetty Document Tutorials. In this tutorial, we can discuss with the how to upload a file to the server in JSP. So, let's so we can start with the application over here. So, on the project tab, right click and go to new project, Java web, web application. Next, write web application, com dot check out. It's on three. Go for the next. Next and finish. Okay, the web application has been created here. And we can create a servlet to upload the file. So, first, before creating the servlet, we need to create a new component for here. So, here, the form you must mention form action to upload the file. And method is supposed to be post and here you need to mention enc type so enc type is uh, used to mention that or used to indicate that the file will be having some attachments so that enc type is equal to multi form So multi part slash form data. Then post the form tag. Here we need to do select file input type equals to file. Then we equals to and to upload gear then again input type equals to submit then equals to block flight okay so the index page is ready now now next we need to create a servlet here. Right click new and then servlet. So name of the servlet is upload file. Enter deployment descriptor finish. And the servlet has been created here. So we need to add it to this servlet. Okay. So in J2W means uh, in servlets on JSP, there's a lot of rules to upload the file. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload the file in servlets using uh, Apache APIs. So I downloaded Apache APIs from the net over here. So that is our commons io 2.0.1 and commons file upload. So I'll copy these files, I'll cut these files, then I'll put these files into a project, generated example 3 lib folder, right click and paste. So I copied these uh, jar files. Commons file upload 1.2 dot zone commons over to point zero point one point jar to the lib file of the project directory and then I'll import those uh, I just update that in our project so here right click properties libraries add jar folder it's computer Drive example 3 loop folder. Click on those files, select those two files. Open. Click on OK. Now these APIs are available to this project right now. So, first thing, uh, the file should be uploaded to the server here. So, we have to mention our uh, the project directory only. So in this case, I will mention anyone on uh, disk. Uh, 
which is available in my system because it is just an example folder. So I'll go to F drive and there I'll create one more new folder. Uh, put upload name. In this only in this folder we can upload the files from that uh, application. Alright, let's close this. Come here and just going to use string file path. File path I don't know. I'll just use save file equals to f colon slash upload. This is the folder. Save this then come down. So within try statement we need to see part equals to select file upload and what is the control of this request to so this if then if it's not is multi part then we are not going to do anything over here else means if it is a multi part then file item directory so interface factory equals to name this file into factory Just as in this to now initially, then import this list. Then try the catch. it all dot has next next we need to go for the file item item equals to over item file item item equals to items dot iterator is from field means it's nothing but we are checking that whether the item so which is uh, accessed over here in the server 
if it is a form for means uh, either it is a label or a text field or a password for that we are checking over here if it is a form for we can access those values over here else uh, not else if it is a file then if it's a file then go for just uh, string item name item dot get name again we need to use the if item then continue file equals to file go to dot exist to check whether the file is already exist in the directory or not okay, for our file name over here go to code directly all right this is the program to check whether the file exists or not and this need to input the date over here so this uh, check exist in what it will do it will accept a file name and then the save file part will be available over right here so in this part if the file is already exist then we are appending to the file to the present date the present date we are appending to the file and then we are copying that file into the directory so that's what actually this uh, method is going to do and then here the file item factory select file upload these are the classes which are used to upload the file over here and this item is here item so uh, file item are used to upload the file return to the files attachments so here basically if suppose if we have any form fields those we can put uh, uh, we can handle those for of fields within this if statement which is uh, tested here right and that is for a field and then those values will be accessed and kept into some variables and then they can be processed in future in the program so this is the complete application and then we can go from expression of this application just to run it the file is running here see this program so then uh, choose the file and choose uh, new one file from the desktop and it will create new one file from the desktop right click new create one uh, desktop name of the text file is hello hello jpa programs let's see this 
for this one. Choose file. Here, I have all right clicks to click on this one and upload. Alright, so file has been uploaded right now. So, either this uh, request is forwarded to the upload file, and that file, the upload file, code will do the task which is uh, defined to it. So, let's check out whether the file is uploaded or not. So, this one, after. So apply then uh, upload so file not yet uploaded let's check out what I've done if you try to look for this server uh, there will be a problem on this uh, file item just remove this file item over here close it over here look for this one so this application right choose the file okay. upload report one two This one, just check where the file is uploaded. Go for the scan. This button, upload, and it's hello.txt has been uploaded here. If you upload the same file once, you can see all this. So, if you upload the same file, let's see what happens. The same file here in this program. What it is doing, so the file is already exist, so that can be checked using the check exist. And that, what it will do, it will append date to the uploading file over here. Let's check out that. So it's already exist hello txt and upload. Okay, let's see that. Got it. Hello dot txt, and this is the file which is appended to the second copy. So this is how the files can be uploaded to the server using the JSPL. So thanks for watching this tutorial.